Acts now and an old bridge in Pune has been demolished through a controlled implosion in the early hours today. The bridge on Mumbai Bengaluru Highway, which was constructed in the early 90s, was demolished around 1 a.m. And the visuals on your screens there actually show the demolition. Now, the comparison with the twin tower in Noida is, of course, there on your screens because it, the, the demolition has, in fact, been done by the same company which was responsible for bringing down the Twin Towers. Around 600 kg of explosives was used for demolishing this bridge in Pune. And according to authorities, the raising of the bridge is a part of development project aimed at improving the traffic situation at this key intersection. So the visuals on your screens there of the demolition, which took place around 1 a.m. in the morning in Pune in order, uh, this is a bid to clear the traffic congestion in Pune. For more on this, I'm joined by my colleague Swarali. Swarali, uh, this is of course being done in order to ease the traffic situation in Pune. Tell us about, about what was the importance of this demolition and how it's going to help the residents of Pune. Yes, sir, let me tell you the importance of this demolition that the new multi-bridge uh, flyover is being constructed on the Mumbai-Bangalore National Highway and uh, it, which is under process but this bridge was becoming a major hurdle and CM Eknath Shinde came here and reviewed the development work. At that time, some of the citizens met him and opposed their grievances about the traffic congestion caused by the construction work that was going on. Now, at that time, to speed up the process, it took a decision that the, uh, this old bridge is becoming a major hurdle and that will be demolished by 15 September. Now, due to technical difficulties, it got delayed. But finally, yesterday night, it was demolished within six seconds. But uh, seeming, uh, seemingly, earlier it seemed that bridge was not demolished totally. But when we talked with the officials, they explained us that it was a controlled explosion, implosion, sorry. And uh, while, uh, as we are comparing it with Twin Tower, it was an uh, implosion that was ex explosion that brings down structure at once. Now, if we talk about the Chani Chowk, 1300 holes were drilled and 600 kgs of explosive was filled inside. Uh, so we thought that it's an unsuccessful attempt. But post, when we talked uh, with the officials of Edify uh, and NHAI, they said that we had used the technique of blast which, and fragmentation. Now, fragmentation means only some of the areas uh, are uh, blasted and the, so the main structure come down to the blast, but the remaining is brought down with the earth removers, earth diggers, dumpers, JCBs. Uh, now let me show you the entire machinery which is working right now. Yesterday it was said that by 8 a.m. the debris and leftovers will be cleared, but that's not the case. Uh, on the other hand, District Collector Rajesh Deshmukh has assured that in coming one hour, the entire work will be done, the leftovers, debris will be cleared from here. Now, talking about the blast, it took place in six seconds, but post that, it took one, one and a half hour to bring down the entire structure of this bridge. Right now, in full swing, the entire operation of clearing the site is going on. If you can see uh, officials, the task force of 350 people, it was a joint venture by Edifies along with NHAI, National Highway Authority of India, and all the traffic police officials are also present there. Yesterday when a blast was done, if I talk about the operation, section 144 was applied and still no one is allowed inside the premises. If you, if we can see here, it's a minimum human presence. Only the technical experts, laborers working on field and other required for the task. 144 was applied and no was allowed inside. In the 200 meters of vicinity, uh, it was a no human zone. Also, resorts and hotels in the surrounding areas were vacated and all the precautions were taken. Post that, it took one, one and a half hour to take down the entire bridge. Now the work is going on to clear out the debris. Now we talk about the importance. This Chani Chowk bridge falls on the Mumbai-Bangalore National Highway and is also a very important part of Pune as it indulges many areas, Pasha and Baudhan, Kothrud, NDA and others. So if we talk about the uh, data of vehicles passing through it, every hour during peak hours or office office hours, 
more than 3 lakh vehicles pass under the bridge currently right now which is totally uh, under process of clearing the debris and leftovers and all the work is going on right. uh, from this road more than 3 lakh vehicles pass every hour right. so now it is to be seen how it impacts and how it speeds up the process of multi bridge flyover that is supposed to be done uh, nitin gadkari union minister had also declared that everything goes smooth the new multi bridge project will be uh, inaugurated right, so by the focus June. of the operation the now will of course have to be to clear the debris from that area as you said it's a very key intersection which uh, the both the union transport minister as well as the maharashtra government of course is keenly working on to ensure that the uh, the entire operation goes smoothly so that it clears the main aim of this entire demolition being the fact in order to clear up the traffic mess in pune thank you so much for joining us